obviously the two postponed games this weekend with uh, Laval. You guys seem like you're in, in a real groove. Uh, how tough is it to have those ones off the schedule when a team's running like you guys are? There's pros and cons to it. Um, we're definitely happy with the, the progress we've made since the break. Thought each, each of the games we were getting a little bit better. Uh, this last game was one of our more complete games of the season. Uh, so yeah, you, sometimes you think you want to get right back at it and keep rolling. Uh, but this also gives a big window for us to get back to our development model, uh, some more reps in certain areas for individual players and in our team. So we'll take advantage of the practice time as well. Top 10 scorers, five of them rookies. Uh, and I, I just thinking about a couple of guys who seem to be coming on a little bit as of late, Curtis Douglas, Pavel Gogolev. Your thoughts on, on their progress so far in this relatively young season? Yeah, it's, it's hard to think sometimes that it's, it's still early and these guys have made a lot of progress since the beginning of the season. So, um, you know, they've, they've been both been very impactful for our team and, and helped us in some big wins this year. Uh, Douglas is, is learning how to utilize his strength, which is his size, um, and being strong down low and being able to put guys on his back and possess pucks and, and get to the net. Uh, and Gogolev has this untapped skill that comes out in a game that sometimes you wouldn't expect, um, if, if I think if you're a fan watching, but we know he has it in him and he's starting to get himself in spots to utilize it and um, he can do some special things with the puck. I guess I was just thinking, what are some of those untapped skills that you think Gogolev has that he can maybe bring more and be, I don't want to say better player because he is a good player, but just show it more. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Gogo has a lot of deception in his game. Um, at times when he gets the puck, you don't think he may be aware of what's around him, but all of a sudden it's a backdoor play, or he'll attack the space or the hole that is available to him, and it may not look like he's scanned, but his brain's picking up a lot of information um, in those spots. And for him, it's continuing to be detailed with his work ethic, his habits, earn more ice time. Um, as he builds a bigger window of consistency with uh, trust and his professional habits, uh, he'll get more looks in terms of ice time, offensive looks. Uh, there were even moments in the last game because he, he was playing so well that I was trying to get him moved up the lineup with a couple reps with some other guys. Um, and if you just look back a couple games ago uh, on the entry, the first goal, his deception of the slap shot and then backdoor pass, uh, his skill set is off the charts, and uh, it's it's our job to get him in those spots as much as possible. And just maybe an injury update on Brennan Manel and maybe Nick Robertson as well. Uh, yeah, Robbie's starting to hit the ice now. I know later this month we're gonna uh, uh, the doctors are gonna reassess where his injury is at and um, how fast or slow we pro uh, progress his return. Um, Manel is now in practice, non-contact. I think it's only a matter of time before he's cleared for contact and he's back in the lineup.